Hello everyone. Today we are going to conduct the Kirchhoff's voltage law KVL experiment. This is a circuit diagram of Kirchhoff's voltage law. Here this circuit is consists of there are three resistors, 1 kilo ohm, 2.2 and 3.3 .3 kilo ohm resistors are connected in series. This is the RPF supply voltage. We get the plus terminal and it is a minus terminal. And we are using three voltmeters here. V1, V2, V3. V1 is used to measure the voltage across of 1 kilo ohm. And V2 uh, voltmeter is used to measure the voltage across of 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. And V3 is used to measure the voltage across of 3.3 .3 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will connect the circuit as per the circuit diagram. So this is the 1 kilo ohm resistor here. I am connecting the 1 kilo ohm resistor on the breadboard. Okay, I connected 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now I am taking 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. If you see the circuit here, in the circuit, this 1 kilo ohm second terminal is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal. So I am connecting 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal to the 1 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, I am connecting here. Now, if you see the circuit here, these two terminals should be connected vertically uh, because these two are connected. Now, if you see the circuit here, 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. Now I connected these three resistors. Now we will connect the RPS here. If you see the circuit here, RPS positive. RPS positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal. So this is called as RPS positive. This RPS positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. Next. RPS negative. RPS negative is connected to 3.3 .3 kilo ohm second terminal. So this is the RPS negative. This RPS negative is connected to 3.3 .3 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, now I am connecting the voltmeter 1. This is called as a voltmeter 1. This voltmeter 1 is connected across the 1 kilo ohm. Okay, across the 1 kilo ohm, we will connect the voltmeter. This voltmeter positive is connected to voltmeter positive is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. Now I am connecting the same voltmeter V1 negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, V1 second terminal. Okay, next I am connecting this voltmeter V2. This V2 positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal and V2 negative is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal. This is the voltmeter across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. So voltmeter positive is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm first terminal and the voltmeter negative is connected to 2.2 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, V1, V2 both the uh, voltmeters are connected. Now I am connecting V3. If you see the circuit diagram, this V3 positive is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm first terminal, V3 negative is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, a positive is connected to 3.3 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay, this V3 negative is connected to 3.3 .3 kilo ohm second terminal. If anything is connected, we should connect vertically. Okay, here this total circuit, this is a total circuit diagram we connected on the breadboard. Okay, now we will apply the uh, RPS clearly, uh, RPS supply. If you, if you see the uh, RPS here, regulated power supply. This is for by using this knob, we will slowly vary the uh, uh, regulated power supply. I am increasing slowly. First, I am taking 15 volts here. Okay, I am taking 15 volts. Slowly increase the RPS. Okay, up to 15 volts. Okay, now I am increasing the RPS to 15 volts. At 15 volts. Okay, we are getting V1 is equal to 2.3 volts and V2 is equal to 5, 5.1 volts and V3 is equal to 7.4 volts. Okay, like this we will get the values at 15 volts, V1, V2, V3 values. Now, I will increase slowly the voltage from 15 to 20 volts. Okay, if I increase the voltage from 15 to 20 volts. Okay, 15 to 20 volts. At 20 volts, we are getting V1 is equal to 3.1 volts. Okay, and V2 is equal to 6.7 volts. And V3 is equal to 9.8 volts. 
okay 815 was v1 v2 v3 values okay now if i increase the voltage from 20 to 25 volts at 25 volts we are getting v1 is equal to 3.8 to 3.9 volts and v2 is equal to 8.4 volts and v3 is equal to 12.3 volts this is the v1 v2 v3 values at 25 volts okay now so up to now we got the values like this so you will get one or two volts there is a small variation if you conduct the experiment so as it is a practical experiment there is a small variation but you should get the value same okay we have, we have taken the 15 20 25 volts now if you see the 10 volts okay for 10 volts you will get v1 is equal to 1.4 volts and v2 is equal to 3.38 volts v3 is equal to 5 volts and if you apply the 15 volts 2.2 volts 5.06 volts and 7.4 volts we have taken 15 20 25 volts now i will take 10 volts because our tabular column is at 10 volts okay at 10 volts you will get 1.6 volts and 3.4 volts and 5.0 volts okay if you take 10 volts you will get the values v1 v2 v3 like v, v1 v2 v3 you will get okay you can verify the values at any of the three voltages okay here this is the supply voltage 10 volts and v1 v2 v3 values and it is for 15 volts for 15 volts 2.2 5.06 and 7.4 volts and if you apply the 20 volts you will get 2.9 volts 6.75 volts and 10 volts okay this, this is the table or column for the kirchhoff's voltage la if you see the kvl kirchhoff according to kirchhoff's voltage la total voltage is equal to sum of the individual voltages v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay if you take one voltage here supply voltage is 10 volts here okay supply voltage is 10 volts v1 v2 v3 values if we do the uh, addition we will get 10 is approximately equal to 10 from this we can say that kvl is verified at 10 volts similarly if you do the 15 volts and 25 volts you will get the same okay this is the verification of kirchhoff's voltage law at 10 volts 15 volts 20 volts